Hi, this is Jim Starkweather, the publisher of Kitmaker Network, and welcome to another Mail Call. Uh, this is the hairless version of Mail Call. As you can see, I got a haircut, and I decided to go super short, uh, which I do sometimes. Um, well, we've got quite a few boxes in here. It's been, what, two weeks, I think, or two plus weeks since I put one of these out. Uh, I've been very lax with my, with my Cracking the Box videos and my books lately, and I'm, I'm, I keep commenting on it, but... It's not like I haven't been doing anything. <laughs> uh, I've been updating our, our database and uh, lots of back stuff. I'm not going to get into all the super details, but it's just taking a lot of a lot of my time lately and dealing with other logistical things, which obviously samples are only a part of the work we do here or the work that I do here. Uh, but that said, I really, really got to start crunching and, and putting stuff out. Otherwise, I'm just going to get further and further behind. It's been actually almost like six months since I moved the office and it doesn't feel like it. It feels like it's been two months, but on with, on with the unboxing stuff. All right. So let's, what have we gotten in here? We've gotten a couple things from Tamiya, I think. Uh, this is something from my mailbox, which wants me to do something. So let's pick up where we left off. All right, so I'm going to actually save the Tamiya ones for last, because, you know. Um, let's go ahead and open this one we have, which I believe is from Fly Flyhawk, because all their boxes kind of look similar. And we'll take a look. I'll try not to show the top of my head, because it's bald-ish. What do we have? Okay, maybe I showed it a little bit there. It's like, the funny thing is, you, it's kind of hard to not look down <laughs> when you're doing this. I don't want to slice my hand off. So I, I do have to kind of, you know, be careful. All right, so we got a couple of new uh, full-size kits, it looks like, from Flyhawk, or actually from Kajika. Sorry, separate company. They share, I think they share some logistical things, but... Uh, so we got from Flyhawk, we got the... Small uh, pocket size fleet series, the one two thousand size German battleship turpets. Um, and those uh, are a very simple kind of construction, but they'd probably make into a very nice one two thousand scale. I believe we have another one uh, around here somewhere. I'm not sure which one that one was. Is that the Bismarck? So it might kind of make sense there going the German line, kind of like plastic holding on to me, doesn't want to give up. And then we also got uh, from Kajika, we've got the 1700 scale um, Haruna uh, battle, Japanese battle cruiser. This is KM70003. Um, and we also have from them, I don't know if this is a sister ship, uh, this is a Navy battle cruiser, so the Krishima. The Krishima and the Haruna. Uh, this one is, uh, again, 1700 scale, and this is the next uh, series, so it's, it's the 04 uh, kit member. These are a little hard to find right now. If you're looking for these, uh, you probably will maybe not uh, easily be able to find them, but they are they are out there. Um, it looks like we got in something from Komod Publishing. Hope everyone's been having a good couple of weeks. Mine went by like the flash, which it usually does. Uh, so from ASEAN Press, actually, we've got from uh, them, we've got Aces, Panzer Profiles 2, or Panzer Aces, sorry, Panzer Aces Profile 2. This is Guide to Camouflage of German Tanks, 1943 to 45, in the kind of long, elongated version, uh, which makes sense for these kinds of illustrations. But it uh, looks like a very, very detailed uh, book in terms of uh, profiles, obviously, which makes sense, calling it Profiles. Um, and, uh, you know, hopefully get a turning the page done on that one within a reasonable time. What else did we get, uh, from, is this Sam? Yeah. We got, uh, the most recent issue of Military Model or Craft International, MMI, uh, which is, uh, the March issue, 2017. Stay in cover. I've also got sporting a nice scruffle here because... My shaver got a nick or something in it, I guess. And, and once it gets one, a nick in the foil, oh my goodness, it hurts. I don't know if it's pulling hairs or what it's doing. It's not comfortable. So yes, I am uh, 
shaverless lately. I don't even think I have any old style shaver blades or anything around, so that, that would be hard to even do that. All right, from Casemate, we've got a new book, Vietnam War Army Helicopter Nose Art by John Brennan. Interesting uh, book, which probably is not a, a common subject out there. So if you're a, a military uh, heli guy, and, and especially the Vietnam War era, that's probably a book right up your alley, because, yeah, that'll have a lot of... Looks like a lot of artwork or artwork of uh, photos of the artwork that went on uh, the helicopters of that time period. So we'll definitely try to get a turning the page done for that so you can get more information. And also from, looks like MMP Books, uh, Alan Ranger's SDK, I've said uh, 7 Camera On, which is going to be photo reference, I assume. Black and white, looks like. And uh, yeah. That one also looks interesting, and I dropped my cutter. I'm back. All right. Sorry. You know how I, I try to be amusing. Sometimes I'm not, I know, but I, I try. Uh, let's see. What do we have in this box from Mini Art? We've got... Their new World War II-ish uh, heli from, uh, I think, would this be like a Luft 46 kind of scenario? Uh, FL-282 V6 Col Colibri uh, in 135th scale. So kind of a non-aircraft scale, but more of an armor modeling scale, obviously. And uh, they show some side photos here of it put together. It looks like a very interesting build, though. I think that'll definitely capture the attention of both aircraft and armor modelers. Uh, a water pump set in 135th scale with some interesting looking barrels and milk crate cartons, milk cart, milk, milk containers, I'll just say. Um, actually, let's put, start putting some stuff up over here. Good background. Put the, those guys can go up there. All right. So, um, and then we have a big kit. It doesn't want to come out. Whoa, and this thing's heavy. <clears throat> this is the Turan 4 late type. So, probably, again, uh, they just released the T-54 not too long ago. They're trying to, uh, you know, go, go to some of the later variants. This being uh, Israeli, correct, I believe. Um, version of a, a captured... Soviet tank with uh, updates and so forth, and this is a full interior kit as well, most likely using that, that T-54 or 55 uh, interior that they've already done with updates, I'm sure. But this, this box is seriously heavy. So uh, yeah, we'll, get a, we'll try to get something up on that soon as well. They also included their 2018 catalog, because they've just been at shows like the Toy Fair and stuff, so these catalogs all come out at this time of the year. Ooh, ooh, what do we got? New, new poster? New poster, maybe. Let's see. Oh, a new calendar poster. All right, there we go. Yay. A 2018 interesting illustration. I can't tell if that's painted or... It looks like partial CAD, partial painted, like the figure looks painted. Interesting. I'll put that on my wall, maybe, back there. Um, and then, of course, the catalog has almost all their current uh, release of stuffs and maybe some of the new upcoming things. Probably if I spent a long time going through here, there's a T-55 marked new. There's, there's the Turan for early type. Um, that's the late type, so they have an early type coming out, I guess, as well. So, yeah, some stuffs in there. All right, what else uh, do we get from uh, Tamiya? I think one of these boxes is probably that uh, Messerschmitt production, but this box, I don't know what's in this box. We shall find out. Another white box kit, which we'll look at in a second. And then their new LaFerrari in 124th scale. So, yeah, beautiful car there. In a very... Uh, I love the yellow paint jobs sometimes. They really, they really work for me. Everything's red usually, so seeing something in yellow or even white sometimes is nice. Um, but yeah, that's a, that's a car uh, certainly 
that's going to please the automotive uh, peoples out there. And what did we get as the white box kit? Let's see. This one is a tank, uh, 135th scale, looks like, unless it's just not... Ah, oh, okay. So the uh, soon to come out is the Wesp's Italian Front. Uh, this is... Um, not sure what the uh, time period production of this kit is. I mean, if this is the Italian Front, is this a new, new plastic, or is this... Um, let me check. We'll, we'll check really quick. I'll maybe put an edit in here while I'm checking. Because I have to go over here and use my magnifier. Yeah, this is 96 original mold stuff. Now, what, what did it say? It says to me, it doesn't give any other... Uh, I think this is all original to me kits. But so, I'm not sure if they're using their original... Um, hull here and they have a new 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 bits on here but i'll go through it when i do the you know review and we'll see what is new and what is not new in terms of plastic but uh but yeah interesting to see tamiya coming out with a, a vesp i said it right that time a vesp not a wasp germans don't do that do not do, do the w sound the way we do of course i love how some things we we pronounce in german like i've said this before obviously but you know we don't say, we say tiger tank. We don't say tiger. If everybody says tiger, then okay, then fine with saying vesp. But we don't say tiger, we say tiger. So why is that the one we're allowed to get away with? Okay, actually, this, this is not, a, not the kid I was expecting it to be, I don't think. Wasn't, wasn't this one. That was the Churchill. Maybe I was, or was I, was I expecting it to be the 148th Churchill? I was expecting it to be the 148th Churchill. But it is a new Kawasaki KI-61 ID Hein Tony, of course. I think they put out a kit like this recently, but I, I want to say wasn't that 148th scale? I want to say that was a 148th, so this is, this must be uh, somewhat new. Um, and uh, we'll get this one looked at as well. Looks like they've included the sold separately detail of parts kit they've also got for uh, camouflage decals, which is uh, for this specific kit, obviously. And uh, it, it's tiny. It is, it is a small a small sprue, but it looks very, very nice just looking at it from the cursory eye kind of look right now. But yeah, we'll take a, bit, a closer look at that one, and that'll be available, obviously, for review as well. So... Um, I think that's everything. I've hit everything, haven't I? I believe so. All right, well, so that's everything we've gotten in, just uh, this this one, this issue. Um, like I said, uh, keep an eye out. I'm, I'm definitely going to try to pump those other videos out uh, from past weeks, kits, and so forth. And then, of course, check, check out our spreadsheet, which will have um, a lot of this stuff listed on it for available samples, if you're not sure how that, how that works. Check out the link that I'll put in the description, which talks about, essentially why this channel exists and why we do these videos. Uh, otherwise, uh, you know, a lot of people expect more out of these, like they're going to be reviews of every single one of these products. And yeah, no, sorry, not going to be that. I mean, even my inbox reviews are pretty uh, cursory overviews. They're not really in-depth, uh, what I would call in-depth reviews. That's what we allow, or we would ask that are people who do the reviews after the fact, you know, do the, do the more uh, in-depth reviews or builds and so forth. I have not the time for these things, you know, I've got a few other obligations besides just samples. Uh, and as you can see, even those are piling up on me. But um, but yeah, thanks for tuning in. Uh, questions, comments, suggestions, put them below in the comments section. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you can. That helps us out on YouTube in terms of getting it viewed by more people. We appreciate that. And uh, we will see you next time on Cracking the Box. Not Cracking the Box, on Mail Call. Yes, right. But we will see you soon in Cracking the Box. Yes.